Hi, my name is Shirley Gutkowski. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm here in my home office to talk to you today about how to find a good dentist or a good dental hygienist. What is it that you need in order to be healthful and have someone that you can trust at the helm of your oral care, of your oral health? So that's a really hard topic, right? You're going to talk to your neighbors. You're going to talk to your brother. You're going to talk to your mother. You're going to talk to the neighbor neighbors. You're going to talk to everybody you know, and they're all going to tell you that they, you should see Dr. So-and-so or Dr. Such-and-Such, or they've been patients of Dr. Who's-It's for such a long time, and she's awesome, and she didn't ever find anything, and la, 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 and all that stuff. Well, here's the thing. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I used to joke to with my patients that I would charge extra if they wanted me to do an exam with my eyelids down because I almost always found something. And that's not horrible and it doesn't mean you have to do something every time. The thing is that you need to find someone that is going to be conscientious and not skip things. For instance, if you have cavities and you have a new cavity just about every single time you come to the dentist, that's a problem. And that's not a problem with you not brushing, not always. If you are brushing and you do floss the way that they're told, they told you to do, maybe your saliva is bad. And if all you ever get is a finger-wagging argument about how you're not brushing and flossing, then maybe it's time to look for a new dentist. You want to find someone who is adept at treating infections in the mouth, not just periodontal disease. You want to get somebody who's going to be treating your cavities. The cavities are an infection that comes from bacteria. It's not a decrease or an insufficiency of fluoride. If all you're getting is fluoride, 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 that's a problem. Someone should be measuring your saliva. Somebody better be measuring the health of your saliva or you're not in good hands. That's a huge missing component. I've been talking about this and teaching this to dentistry for 10 years, and it's time that you start asking yourself for better health care from your dentist and your dental hygienist. They know me. They know I've been talking about this for a long time, and you can feel very relaxed in knowing that everything that I said in 2000 is turning true. It turned out to be 10 years later, but things like using xylitol, X-Y-L-I-T-O-L. Xylitol is a natural sugar that helps fight the bacteria in your mouth. It's a really cool system, and I can tell you all about it in another video, but that's one of the major components in cavity reduction. You need to be doing that, and if your dentist or dental hygienist isn't telling you about it, then it's time for a new one, and those are the kind of questions that you can ask when you're looking for a new one. How do you call your, for, your new dentist for the very first time? What do you ask for? Find out where did they go to school? How many continuing education courses do they take in a year? Most states require dentists and dental hygienists to have continuing education courses. In Wisconsin, dental hygienists are required to take 12 hours of continuing education over two years. Other states have requirements that reach into 36 hours of continuing education over two years. So you can see there's a really big variety there. But you want to know if your dentist and if your dental hygienist go to continuing education courses, not just the ones online. You want to know how often and how many and what are they on. It shouldn't all be about taking teeth out. Right? You don't want to see a dentist who spent 36 hours last year learning how to take teeth out better. You want to know how to keep teeth in, right? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're looking for in a dental team. So if you have any other questions, give me a shout. My name is Shirley Gutkowski, G-U-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. You can find me all over the internet if you spell my name right. So I'll see you soon and good dental health.